I often roll out a little pinch pot. And then, uh, oh yeah, don't forget to wear your mask. Because some of the oxides are very toxic. And it's a good idea to wear a mask. So we're going to mix uh, a little bit of iron oxide to it. Uh, usually about five, no more than 10%. And then uh, instead of adding water to it, I'm going to take uh, the black pigment. Now this is a pigment that painters use, not a pigment that potters use. And add it to the iron oxide to make a paste. And then I'll take a wooden stick and just kind of mix it, make a paste out of it. And the reason I add the uh, colorant to it, the organic colorant to it, is to give it the natural color. You know, the uh, color won't mature. The black iron oxide won't, really won't get its color until it's fired. So this is going to anticipate the color. And then just close up the uh, pinch pot. Wear your gloves. Again, the toxic materials will absorb through your skin. So I wear gloves and I just wedge it together and thoroughly wedge it. And that's uh, the black, that's the black iron oxide clay. And I mark it uh, here. I'm going to mark it number six. And I indicate what oxide I've added to the uh, pinch pot. And then I stick it in a plastic bag to keep it damp. Now I'm beginning to use the colored clay, and this is one of the techniques of inlaying colored clay. I roll out a very thin coil that's tapered on both ends. And this is how I do my inlaid figures. And this is done on top of newsprint. I'll spray it a little bit, add a little water to it, and then take the uh, cylinder and just roll gently on top of it. And you see how that inlays it. And then I'll do it again. I'll add more figures. This isn't the band series that I've been involved with. You do have to work fairly quickly because the thin coils will dry out. And then I add the uh, cylinder to and roll on top of it again to continue the design. And one more time. So there's a cardboard tube in there to add some pressure to it. And then I'll roll it on top of the clean newsprint to secure the inlay. This is a, a car mat that I'm going to add texture on top of the uh, black iron oxide inlay. Starting to put the bottom on, wet it, secure it with the paddle, and then with my fettling knife I will cut the bottom Trace the outside of the cylinder. And uh, turn it upside down. There's newsprint in there so it doesn't stick to the cardboard cylinder. And I'll use my paddle and then roll it on top of the table to get a nice bottom. And then uh, dealing with the lip. So I'm adding some texture and a uh, subtle change to the lip. So there it is uh, with the uh, car mat adding the texture to it.